Hey guys, Garrett with Tactical Repair here again today on the bench <clears throat> with a Jeep 4 liter cylinder head still. Uh, sitting here looking it over, thinking about making my, my next video about it, which I, I told you was going to be about uh, valve lapping. And I'm going to get to that, but uh, that'll, that'll actually be the next video because what I want to go over right now is just a little bit I know about uh, casting numbers and, and shit like that on, on the heads and the engines on, on these Jeeps. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And if you look at your Jeep cylinder head, front of the head is here. This is your thermostat housing. Your intake and exhaust manifold obviously are on this side. Uh, now what people are usually talking about when they refer to the casting number on the head is this four digit number right here. This is an 0630 head as you can see. Uh, another common one I think that's that people talk about uh, flowing fairly well in uh, stock form is the 7120 or 7160. I, I can't really remember offhand but it's really easy to look up. You can go on any Jeep forum or, or place where there, people are talking about Jeep motors and, and you'll, you'll see I'm talking about that. Um, this is an 0630 head which I know is one of the better flowing heads. Um, so that's that's the casting number when people ask you you know what head do you have um, or if you go to get like a replacement head from an auto parts store they'll ask you for your casting number that's where you want to look and it's right in basically in the the middle of the head it's just a little to the rear but right behind your center head bolt um, and just a four digit number it'll always be a four digit number uh, the 0330 head if you got a 0330 head that sucks because they have a habit of cracking between the uh, valve seats and uh, leaking coolant. Uh, the other thing, let's see, I honestly don't know what this shit means, NH3, no idea what it means. Um, this right here, whatever that is, it looks like B28, I don't know what that means. Uh, these marks, I don't know what the shit that means, I'll be honest with you. I'm sure there's people out there that do but I can tell you I don't. Now this right here is 97. Now this head came off of an engine that was in a 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee. That is the year this head was cast. Now if you'll, well let's walk over here and look at the block that it came off of. And the block was that one I made in, in my earlier uh, video, you know, the four liters more wasted than we thought. Um, the one out of that 97 Grand Cherokee. Now, it, it, oops. it's kind of a shame because the, the cylinders are actually in really good shape. There's no lip you can feel at all anywhere. Uh, pistons, I mean, I haven't cleaned any of this up. The pistons were actually pretty clean for having 200 some odd thousand miles on it and, and no scoring or anything in the cylinders. Um, that, that's beside the point. Shit, I'm knocking. See, always knocking shit over. Got too much crap laying around. Um, right here, on the back corner, driver's side of the block. You see what that says? 8197. Now, I'm not positive that that is actually the month and the day that it was cast, but that is for sure the year that it was cast. So, you can look at that and tell if uh, the engine in your Jeep might have actually come out of a, you know, a parts vehicle. Like if it, if your Jeep's a 98 and your block says 96 or something, then obviously your engine's been replaced. And then right here you've got, you know, 4.0 liter and, and of course there's other casting marks, which once again, I don't know, but uh, I just thought I'd share a little bit of what I do know about them. Um, this, once again, this is the driver's side of the block. This is where your intake and exhaust manifold would be, uh, your driver's side motor mount. And this right here is actually your water jacket drain plug. Uh, it's a 5 16th square drive. Uh, if you're not going to be able to use a quarter inch or 3 eighths ratchet on it, it won't fit. You've actually got to get the drain plug tool. So. Uh, thought that'd be worth mentioning since it was right there anyway um hey hope just a little bit of information i could share with you today was helpful 
If you like the video, please help hit the like button down below. Um, you know, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.